linguist. Mas mata no linguist. Mas mata no linguist. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? Hello. Not oh too my bad. God, fancy seeing you here. You're just here oh, talking, and us. all of a sudden, there you are. The key light. <laughs> well, you know, this makes me wonder. To start out, did you guys plan some time together before you started shooting, or did you kind of build the relationship as you filmed? Well, we planned a ski vacation. <laughs> Do we plan to... No, no. we didn't. <laughs> Crazy. And we just jumped right in. Actually, we it, I mean, it happened very quickly, too. I was cast alongside him just a week before we started filming. So um, Yeah, it was... We went uh, to production. I mean, I auditioned, read with him the following week, and then a week after that, we were up in Toronto filming. Up Toronto pilot. filming, yeah. It's, um, but no, we... Uh, we it, it just seemed to flow, which was nice. That's cool. Doesn't always happen. Things don't always flow. Did you actually read any of the books before you jumped in? You did. Yes, indeed, I yeah. did. Wow. I, uh, you read them all. I didn't read them all, but I did. I read that they're, they're You can read them. It's not a chore. <laughs> what? That, <laughs> but I was yeah. implying but that. No, 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 I know. But I mean, it all happened so quickly. No, there I almost was wasn't say, time to read them all. <laughs> I was going to say. I was going to say. Uh, no, I, I was going to say they're a fast read, but I didn't mean that to sound like it was like you know. Uh, bad read. They were just. They read quickly. <laughs> Did you have certain preconceptions when you read it that you know you you imagine? Okay, well, this is kind of what I want to bring out of this character. Well, I, you know, we use the books as a as a point of departure in a way. I mean, I think I think we tried to preserve some of the key ingredients to these characters that David Baldacci created. But once you change the medium, you have to take a certain amount of liberties to make it work. Yeah, and we're, television as opposed yeah, to yeah, we're television. telling a much longer a different story um so and i think we sort of there are certain conceits that we have in the series that we created that shane brennan created and uh, the writers um so it's it's an amalgamation of a bunch of different things yeah right. what was uh what do you think the biggest departure that you guys have kind of built on uh would be uh, oh that's an interesting question that we have not been asked yet well, in the book, they're both Michelle women. Max <laughs> no, well, Michelle Maxwell has short black hair. In the book, Michelle has short oh, black really? hair. And so, you know, one of the things when you start to do um, a project that has these pre-existing characters with a very loyal following, you don't want to let down the fans of the right. people that have envisioned, been envisioning these characters coming to life one day. So that was my first concern was like, but wow, all these people have been picturing in fairness, a black what's hair really, Michelle Maxwell. But what's really point. delicious about Michelle Maxwell is not... The color of her hair. I know. <laughs> of course. It's the least important thing. Exactly. And um, other than that, when I read the books, I was like, yup, I can be Michelle Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> she looks uh, like a fun broad. <laughs> that was the thing that attracted me to the whole project, I have to say. It was really, um, it's it's fun, and it's got the potential of fun. It, it's, you know, it's, uh, from an acting point of view, you get to do everything in this series. You get to, you know, have dramatic scenes and comedic scenes and romantic scenes. Action. Action. Um, so, that's, it's fun. It's a character-driven show, right. you know. It's a procedural, we're working on a case, but um, it's the characters that hopefully people become interested in. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously you've jumped into character, uh, one character at least before that is very widely known and this is a new one. I mean, does it ever come with Fear of uh, of messing anything up, or is it just? Well, kinda... you don't want to. You, you, you don't want to let anybody down. Who, right. You know, like I said, you know, you definitely want to um, do them justice. Right. So uh, you know, so far it's uh, it's been a pretty good run for both of those characters that you're talking about. Right. What do you guys think uh, going into it was the most interesting part of the relationship between the two two characters? Because they do have a weird, like a fun dynamic that's kind of edgy. Uh, yeah, and it, it is weird. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit of elu elusive. I, I I always, I mean, I always look at everything as a work in progress and as a discovery, and right. um, or I, I like to think of it that way. I think it just makes it more in active, and I like the fact that they don't quite know how to be with each other. Like they they are they work well together, but they're trying to figure out what this relationship is. I mean, I, I think those are are fun questions to ask and. Uh, and play. And play. Mm -hmm. And not have all the answers to. Let's see where this goes. How does, does this feel right? This feels right. No, that doesn't feel right. You know, it, that's a fun dynamic to play. Right. Having been 
in the Secret Service for both of them. When you're in the Secret Service, that is your life. Right. You're, you, there is no time for a marriage or any relationship, no children, not even a pet. So I think because they've both spent so much time in the Secret Service, they're not, they haven't catered to relationships much, right. you know, so, except for this working relationship. They know how to work together, but they don't really know anything else. And they share, they share a past and they share a, uh, not together, but because they share this history right. of being in the Secret Service and both leaving the Secret Service under not the most ideal circumstances, it's sort of a shared wound, if you will, um, that I think bonds them together a little bit. I don't know how conscious they are of that. I think that's something that's bubbling around in the background. Uh, so I, you know, I just look at all the material and I go, wow, these are all very sort of provocative things to put together and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Is there, I mean, obviously in the U.S. it's aired, it's just about there in Canada. Uh, was there anything though, in terms of a second season, was there anything in the material that you read that you wanted to, ho you hope they'll film? Uh, oh, well, there's a lot of we're, things. We're yeah. investigating in the first season. There's an arc that looks into Sean's past about why, how it is that he became dismissed from the Secret Service, right. and yeah, we, whether or not there may have been a setup involved. His protectee was assassinated under his watch, and mine was kidnapped under mine. And I'm hoping in season two we're going to look into Michelle's backstory and how it is that she. Gotcha. And, that, and it's sort of, and it's hinted at that that is exactly where, right. you know, we, we find out that what I thought was my past wasn't exactly what I thought it was, and, and I think vice versa, and, and that they're actually connected in a way. Right. So Which is funny, because that was my first thought when I saw the pilot, you know, the, the, well, the it, big question is where, where did you guys well, come from? Well, what's interesting, in, and this is something like, in the spirit of the books, and taken from the books, is... You know, in the very first King and Maxwell book that David wrote, it's actually Michelle Maxwell's character that creates this King and Maxwell unity. She is she is delving into what happened in her past and what caused her dismissal from the Secret Service. Like something's, you know, a protectee was kidnapped, but who's behind that? What? And in the process of, you know, just you know, exploring that. It leads her to Sean King, hmm. somebody who was dismissed from the Secret Service eight years earlier. Right. Um, and so she actually tracks him down, thinking that he's going to help out with her case. But and also forces him to look at his past and hmm. reinvestigate. Right. And so we've taken, we haven't played that out exactly as it is in the book, but this, what we have, I think, embraced is that our pasts may be a little more connected than we realized. That's cool. So, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I love the fact that you guys play such a dynamic duo, you know, throughout, throughout what I've seen so far. <laughs> I love it. Just sitting here on this couch. <laughs> <laughs> well, even more so now, yeah. What, what, uh, what else do you, do you love about filming this? I mean, what was some of the best parts of making the series? Um... Well, playing. I, 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 I gotta say. I mean, I, I mean, I love to act. I really do. I just love it. And it's, um, and we get to be asked to do a whole lot of different things as far as you know, comedy and drama and action and all. That I love doing all that action. I just loved it. Um, you know, I had never You're really good at it. Right. Thank you. I had never really <laughs> shot guns before, but we had to. Do, I had to do weapons training. You know, we spent a lot of time in the shooting range to figure out what kind of gun was right. The Beretta, the Glock, the Sig, and you if did. I was a left-hand shooter or a right-handed <laughs> shooter. Huh? That's right. Well, you're left-handed, but do you? I'm left-handed. It turns out I shoot a gun with oh, my funny. right hand. Um, and that's right. I realized that. Just realizing that now. That's right. Yeah. Because I know you're left-handed, but that's right. You are out there. With yeah. Your right. How about the other little ambidextrous? I... <laughs> that's very interesting. Next. But um, so I, I really, I you know, I'm not necessarily a guns person right. in my personal life, but shooting in a firing range is fun. It's <laughs> nerve-wracking. The person who was training me. I got, a little, literally, I got a little wigged out of the fire. I know, you know yeah, and he goes, you look a little nervous. And I go, oh, no, no, I'm fine, surrounded by strangers holding With loaded, loaded weapons. weapons. No, really, like... No, nope, yep, no, yeah, no. because they gave their driver's license at the door. Like, what if they just go crazy and walk to the from? next stall and go, bang? You know, what... I know, I was... That's I, had the exact same, I had the exact same thought. I'm like... 
Really? Like a bunch of strangers. This is like, fine. Nope. I feel oh, it's totally fine. fine. It's fine. They gave their driver's license. <laughs> oh, that makes me feel a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally not a fake, right? You know, it's got to be a real driver's license. It's got to be a real driver's license, and that will keep them from doing anything bad. I mean, they're here to, in a warehouse shooting a gun to begin with, so let's talk about that. <laughs> well, does it make it cooler that you're playing agents? I mean, is that, you know, or former agents, you know, doing this, the PI stuff? I mean, that seems like a it's really cool, cool thing it, to play. It, it, yeah. It's cool. Fun. It's it, fun. It is cool, you know, it's, uh, and it's, it's fun having, I mean, you know, they, they've written a couple of, uh, you know, I always love those scenes where, you know, they, they'll have one or both of us, you know, all of a sudden figuring it out. We'll connect all the dots and solve the crime and get the bad guy. I mean, that, yeah, it's it's, it's kind of like putting together a scene as an actor. Right. Connecting the dots, getting to the bottom of it, picking it apart. And arresting the bad guy. And arresting oh. the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it is. It is. Yes. It's all a discovery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank you both very much. Thank wow. you. Thank you.